Amy said twice that this was one of her favorite episodes. What? Like... That was my silent reenactment of my reaction when I was invited to be a guest on the world famous Amy Porterfield's podcast. What? Even as I record this, I am still pinching myself. Like, I... I have looked up to Amy for so long. So you know when someone's your idol and then you are directly connected to them? It's kind of mind blowing. Now granted, this has been years in the making, so it's not like this was an overnight thing that just happened and just fell into my lap. This, is, this has been in the works for a while, but I had a feeling that if you're in my audience, you might be curious as to how I landed a spot on Amy's podcast. So I decided to film this video to give you the full scoop. If I'm being honest, this story starts back in 2016. Yes, I had an online business then. I was running my own business full time from 2014 onwards, but it wasn't until 2016 that I really discovered the online business space. At that point, I had been working remotely, traveling, doing services for clients, but I wasn't privy to things like webinars or lead magnets or sales pages or funnels. I remember one day I was literally Googling tripwire, like what's a tripwire? That was me in 2016. That was also the year that I discovered Amy Porterfield's podcast. Now I had heard of her over the years, especially because she was known for her Facebook marketing, but the podcast really, really brought me up to speed in terms of what's going on in the online business world. So I've been a listener of her podcast since then. Now in September of 2019, Guess who started following me? Amy Porterfield. Pretty sure I took a screenshot and even sent it to my team member because I was so excited. But yeah, she started following me in September of 2019, which I was super pumped about. I had met her before. I went to Social Media Marketing World and I saw her speak, like I was pretty much front row. And so afterwards I hung around and met her briefly and we got a photo and I even put it on my about page. But when she started following me, that was a whole other story. That was her being interested in my content. So I celebrated that little micro win then. It was around that same time that I was experimenting with TikTok. You've seen this video, right? This is when I first created a TikTok account, which was also in September. Now, fast forward to April 1st of 2020. In my Instagram feed, I decided to repost one of my YouTube videos. It was five TikTok videos that you could create to actually grow your business. I turned it into an IGTV video and I posted it on April 1st which is April Fool's Day. So you can imagine my surprise when after posting this video, I saw a like in my notifications from Miss Amy Porterfield herself. So by seeing that, I saw that she saw my video. You see? A few days after this, I get a message from my friend who says to me, Elise, I was just watching Amy Porterfield go live in her private student group, and she was talking about TikTok because people were asking about it. And she was trying to remember the name of a girl who was teaching TikTok for business, and she had five videos to share. So my friend sends me this message, and she's like, I'm pretty sure she was thinking about you. I was like, uh, amazing. Thank you so much for letting me know, because now I'm definitely going to send Amy a message. So right after that, I opened up my direct messages. I sent Amy a message, didn't send a voice note because Voice notes are fine when you are strapped for time, but if you really want to get a message across to someone, type it out. And so I just sent a nice message saying, Hey, Amy, my name's Elise. We've connected briefly here and there. A friend of mine told me that you were mentioning TikTok and perhaps trying to think of my name. So I thought I would just formally introduce myself. That was a super simple outreach. Amy then sends me a voice note back and to hear her voice, the same voice that I've listened to for years on her podcast, speak to me was trippy. Then she writes this, P.S. Do you want to come on my podcast and talk about these five different ways to use TikTok and then have a bigger discussion about it too? Okay, so this is about the time that I lost my mind. It's April 3rd right now, and I'm pretty sure 
I jumped up, I started shrieking. My boyfriend was there because we were working together in the same place. And literally I started sweating right away. Like, like I don't know what that is, hyperventilating? I don't know, I started sweating. I messaged my team member. I was like, oh my gosh, I checked my DMs. Look who just invited me onto her podcast. And then she does her own virtual scream through Slack. And she's like, I'm sweating. And I'm like, I know my upper lip won't stop sweating. We had a little freak out because I mean, this is a podcast that I don't think I even dreamt of pitching, you know, like, which makes me think I should really pitch podcasts more because there is value that you have for people. But the way I saw Amy was like, uh, you know, there's no way she would have me on as a guest. It just goes to show don't underestimate the value that you're putting out there into the world because Amy really appreciated my TikTok teachings and then invited me onto her podcast. So. I freaked out a little bit with my team member and my boyfriend. And then I finally composed myself and wrote her an answer back saying, absolutely, duh, is what I was thinking. Like, no, am I gonna say no? I said, absolutely, I can also share an updated list of five video ideas for TikTok depending on the recording date. These video types were chosen in January, so there might be some new ones that are even more relevant to business people who don't wanna do dance routines, myself included. I included that because Amy had mentioned she was a little wary of dancing on TikTok, and to be honest, I am too. Like, I don't think I've danced once in any, any video. And then I just said, thank you so much for the invite. Really appreciate it. Let me know who to get in touch with, re-logistics, and I'll do my research. I, I wrote that because I wanted her to know, like, I'm going to work for you. I'm gonna give you the most up-to-date information I can find to make this the best podcast episode we can. Because to my knowledge, Amy hadn't been talking about TikTok. So this could possibly be the first episode she airs related to TikTok marketing. So you bet that I was gonna be prepared. After a few more back and forths, I gave her my email. And to be honest, I was like, hmm, is this really gonna happen or are other priorities gonna come up? And that's probably me upper limiting myself. But lo and behold, her team members reached out to me over email. We arranged a pre-interview chat, which I totally get, it makes sense. I mean, let's just look at the iTunes charts just for a second. Let me just pull it up on my computer. Yeah, the top shows in the business category, Miss Amy Porterfield is currently ranked at 30. And as we know, this always fluctuates depending on, I don't know, podcast algorithms. But she has one of the top podcasts in the business category. And so it makes sense that her team would wanna kind of vet the guest a little bit and just understand what are gonna be the talking points. So before a conversation, I put together a document of all the points that I thought would be great to cover in the episode. We had a great chat and then, I got my recording date. I got my recording date confirmed, and then the day of when I was going to record with Amy, it was my late afternoon, I was kind of nervous all day. It was similar to that feeling when you're preparing for an exam, and you know you know it, but you just have all this anticipation to do it and get it done. So that was the sense that I had, even the last hour leading up to her calling me, I was just like standing up and doing dances ironically, just trying to get some energy out of my body. So Amy called me, and the first impression I had when speaking with her face to face was that she was like a great girlfriend. And that's part of her allure. I'm pretty sure this is why she's got one of the top podcasts in the business category because she put me at ease right away. She made me feel like I was speaking to a girlfriend. We were just having a quick chat. So after that, we turned off our cameras just so we could get our best audio. And then we went through the interview. I was already primed on what I wanted to share. I prepared my notes in the Google Doc before. So by that point, it was just a matter of delivering and sounding like a normal human being and not freaking out about, you know, what this is. So um, 45 minutes later, we finished the chat. I was a little nervous in the podcast interview, so I hope when you listen to it, I mean, maybe you'll hear it if you do fine, that's fine. I mean, I'm human, I was nervous, it was a big opportunity, but I, I hope her recording team was able to smooth over any moments where I was like sounding too nervous. You know, I have this habit of swallowing in awkward places in my sentences, so I'm hoping they can fix that. I just got off a Skype interview with none other than Amy Porterfield, these are my notes that I was referring to during the, during the, oh, I was like, not nervous. I felt confident in what I was saying, but 
Amy said twice that this was one of her favorite episodes. What? Like, my mind is kind of blown right now that this just happened. This opportunity has been given to me and she's so awesome. And just me experimenting on TikTok has resulted in, you know, a podcast appearance with one of the top rated podcasts in the business category. Like, but this is like a real, real peak in, in all the ups and downs that have happened in the last seven years. And I don't want this to ever become old or I don't want this to be taken for granted. So yeah, so cool. I'm just gonna breathe and relax and sit with this for a bit, but wow, what a crazy time. Anyway, all this to say that I'm so excited to be a guest on Amy's podcast. The episode airs today. The link to listen is right below this video in the description. So go ahead and give it a listen and let me know what you think in the comments. And of course it goes without saying that I'm incredibly grateful for this opportunity. If it weren't for my TikTok curiosity when I made this video, which put me down that path of, hmm, what kind of videos could we create for businesses, which made me create this video, you know, Amy might have never seen that content. Well, she definitely wouldn't have if I never produced it, but you get where I'm going with this, right? I had a little curiosity, I followed it, and now it's led to an opportunity that I could have only dreamt of. So thank you so much to Amy and your team. You've all been amazing. Thank you for this opportunity for me to share my TikTok findings with your audience. And I am so, so excited for you to hear the latest and greatest that I shared with Amy. So again, go ahead and find the link to the episode right below this video in the description. And I can't wait to hear what you think. This video isn't my usual, I get it. I'm usually very tip-based and tutorial-based, but thanks for sharing in this moment of celebration with me. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so now so that you don't miss any of my future trainings or my moments like this. As always, I appreciate the support and I hope that I can help you bring more ease into your life and more revenue.